Hi everyone, this is Terry, and this is lesson two in My Design Center. We'll go into My Design Center, and the first thing we'll do is we'll recall what we did in lesson one. If we decide that we don't like this and we want to remove it, we can clear it from our screen. This doesn't remove it from memory, but it does clear our screen so that we can erase that image and work with something new. Let's do something fun. Let's go back to home. Let's go into embroidery. Let's select one of these monogram letters and we'll choose the block letter style and we'll choose the letter O and choose set. Now what we want to do is go into edit and at this point we want to create a stamp around it. I don't want a distance that's larger than zero because I want it to follow the outlines of this. I'll show you why in a minute. I'll choose memory and it'll save this to the memory uh, for the stamp pattern list in my design center. Now we'll exit embroidery by choosing a home key. We'll choose OK to exit. We'll go into my design center. And this time we'll, we will recall that stamp that we pattern that we created. And here it is. I did it once before this video. And you'll notice it's just the outs, outside line. If I want to resize it, I can right now, but I want to leave it at the size that I have. I'll click off of it. Now I want to go to the stamps and select the rectangle and choose OK. I want to, to resize the rectangle that I have. And to do that, I want to move it in proportionally, first of all, because I want it to be about the same distance from the top to the bottom. You can see right here, it's inside this box. And now what I want to do is to squeeze it in so that I have about an equal distance on the sides and the top. I'm just eyeing this. You can set it up however you want. And once I'm satisfied with that distance and the size of it, I'll choose OK. Now what I want to do is I want to use this to create a embroidery design that is different from the one that was filled over on the embroidery side of the screen. So the first thing I want to do is I want to select a stitch for the outside of it, and that, that will be an outline stitch. I'm okay with the zigzag stitch. Let's choose red and choose okay. We'll use a bucket, touch the outside. Now let's go and, and do the same thing to the inside by selecting it. So now we've selected both lines, and now we want to go to the decorative fill and in this case, it could be any decorative fill, but let's choose something that's fun. And we'll go ahead and choose this little design here, number 29, and choose OK. We'll choose a different color for the inside. In this case, I'll choose this bright blue, and I'll choose OK. And now I'll select the bucket and click on the outside. So now you see I have that pattern in the inside of it, and then I have the zigzag stitch on the outside. Let's save that to memory, and we'll choose next. Now let's talk about what we have on the screen. One of the things you can do to move around through those stitches is use the arrow key. If I want the stitches for both the uh, of the zigzag stitches to both be three millimeters. I can go ahead and choose link, and now all of the zigzag stitches will, all the modifications will affect those zigzag stitches. And I'll uh, change this to three millimeters and choose OK. Now what we'll do is we'll cycle through it just to see. You see uh, that is the external outline of the zigzag and then the internal, and they're both three. And we link those patterns again together so that, that it, it would affect all of the zigzag stitches. 
The next thing we'll do is we'll work on this decorative fill. Now on the decorative fill pattern, and we'll select it, you can change the size of it. 100% might be too large for this particular motif for such a small area, so we can reduce it down. And I'll reduce it down to 60% and choose OK. It will re-digitize this, so you need a moment for it to do that. And one of the things that you can do is you can shift it. If the pattern is not appearing like you want it to appear, you can shift that pattern by going down here and you can do what's called position offset. Now on this particular design, it's not going to make, it, it will make a difference because if you look at this, it, it was pretty symmetrical. What it has are the circles right here next to the zigzag stitch. You'll notice that this is lined up very well right here with this pattern. But let's go ahead and do the position offset and see what happens. And you can see again that I made that change and now it doesn't really look as good. I really like the way it looked originally. So let's go back and let's just reset this back to the default values, which were zero. In some instances, it'll look better because you'll get more of the pattern. And the, the next thing I want to show you is you can distort the shape of that pattern. And you can do that by selecting the random shift by using the random shift, you can go up to three. It will distort the appearance of this shape. Let's let it digitize. You can see now this is really kind of skewed. On this particular design, I don't care for it. So we'll just go back and we'll change it. Where it really looks good is if you take circles, because then you end up with something that looks like pebbles. For instance, whenever, you, and you can see the illustration here. You can also change the stitch angle if you want. I won't change that right now. And I can turn the outline on and off. I'll turn the outline off. I don't really need an outline around this because I have a zigzag and I'll choose OK. Let's go ahead and set this design and go to embroidery. So we're going over into the embroidery screen and let's look at how it stitches out. So we'll go back in. And as I mentioned, you can zoom in. And now let's choose the slow redraw and let's watch this redraw and stitch out. It's on speed one. And you can see it's doing that decorative fill first. We don't have the outline stitch. What we'll do is we'll go back and I should have saved it though to go back and I didn't. But if I had let me stop here and let me show you what I want. If I had chosen to have the outline, it would have closed these ends off on both sides. It's not really necessary because I'm going to close it off with my zigzag stitches. So we'll go ahead and we'll stitch out the zigzag. And you get an idea of what this is going to look like. So if you like this idea, one of the things you can do if you want to do something like this, we'll, we'll choose delete. Is remember when you're choosing an alphabetic letter like this, it works with, with any of these designs, but it works best probably with uh, category two and three. And any of those that have a shape that's in the inside, if you create the stamp, you're going to have to recreate the shape in the inside. So that's going to be true for the letters like A, D, Q, O, R, and you can guess the rest.